Albert Einstein, one of the most outstanding minds of the 20th century, gained fame not only for his theory of relativity, but also for his philosophical reflections on the nature of reality and the universe. Although he was a proponent of science and a skeptic when it came to mystical matters, his views on the nature of time Energy and consciousness inevitably led to considerations of life after death and the possible existence of an afterlife. Einstein believed in the harmony of the universe, but his God was not like the traditional God of religions. He said, I believe in Spinoza's God, who reveals himself in the orderly harmony of the universe, but not in a God who concerns himself with the fate and the affairs of human beings. For Einstein, the universe was a mechanism subject to strict laws of physics. Yet his famous statement that energy does not disappear, it only changes from one form to another, makes us wonder, what if this statement applies not only to physical matter, but also to human consciousness? The question of life after death has always preoccupied humanity. Almost every culture has its own ideas about what happens to the soul after the body dies. The ancient Egyptians believed in the soul's journey through the underworld, the Indians in reincarnation, the Christians in heaven and hell. Modern reports from people who have experienced clinical death add new details to these stories. A light tunnel, a sense of peace, encounters with deceased relatives. But what if these experiences are not just biochemical processes in the brain, but real journeys into another reality? Modern science approaches such questions with caution, but the interest in this subject remains. For example, quantum physics, in which Einstein played a key role, has revealed amazing phenomena that could be related to the nature of consciousness. Quantum entanglement, where particles interact instantly over large distances, or Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, which states that the very act of observation changes the state of a particle make us think that our perception of reality is far from complete. Some scientists even suspect that consciousness might be a quantum mechanical phenomenon. For instance, physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff propose the theory of orchestrated objective reduction, which suggests that consciousness arises in the microtubules of brain cells through quantum mechanical processes. If consciousness is indeed quantum mechanical, its existence could transcend the boundaries of the physical body. This means that consciousness could persist after death and transition into another form of being or even into another reality. But what would Einstein himself think about this? He was always an advocate of testing hypotheses through the scientific method. Perhaps he would not have immediately accepted the idea of life after death, but it is possible that he would have investigated it from a scientific perspective. Einstein denied nothing that could be tested and proven. His approach to understanding the world involved leaving room for questions that still have no answers. And have you ever wondered what awaits us beyond life? Could Einstein, with his unique view of the world, have come closer to the mystery of this eternal question? Einstein, like many scientists of his time, showed interest in phenomena that appeared mystical at first glance. Despite his skepticism, he did not deny the possibility of the existence of things that science has not yet explained. In one of his letters, he wrote, Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. For him, religion did not mean belief in the supernatural, but rather reflected admiration for the mysteries of the universe. One such mysterious phenomenon is the field theory. Einstein believed that everything in the universe is connected by invisible threads of energy. His attempts to develop a unified field theory, which was supposed to explain all physical interactions, can be considered a search for a hidden reality. But could he have imagined that this field might also contain information about consciousness or even about the souls of the deceased? In this context, it is worth mentioning that modern scientists are studying the so-called information field of the universe. Some theories suggest that all information in the universe is preserved and even human consciousness could be recorded in this field. The physicist Erwin Laszlo, for example, proposed the concept of the active information field, or Akasha field, in which all information about the past, present, and future is stored. Could it be that the souls of the deceased continue to exist in this invisible space? 
Interestingly, some proponents of such theories refer to the phenomenon of quantum entanglement. If particles can interact over great distances without being subject to the usual laws of space and time, it could be that consciousness also exists outside of the body. This could explain cases where people who experienced clinical death reported seeing their own body from the outside or traveling to other places. However, it is worth returning to Einstein's own experiences. Of course, he never claimed to believe in an afterlife, but his words that reality is merely an illusion albeit a very persistent one, could raise the thought that our physical life is just one of many forms of existence. Perhaps consciousness is capable of transcending this illusion and continuing to live in another form. Modern science continues to explore consciousness. Experiments with out-of-body experiences, Dr. Ian Stevenson's research on reincarnation, projects investigating lucid dreams, all of this gives rise to the thought that consciousness is not as simple as we have imagined. Some scientists suspect that consciousness is not the product of the brain, but rather something like a receiver tuned to a specific frequency of reality. If this is the case, death might not be the end, but simply a transition to another wave. But how can this be scientifically verified? Can science measure what lies beyond the material world? Perhaps it is precisely quantum physics, initiated by Einstein, that will be the tool that allows us a glimpse behind the curtain of life and helps us understand what awaits us after death. And do you believe that our soul can continue to exist in some form? Or is it just a comfort for those who fear uncertainty? The interest in the topic of life after death is not limited to philosophy or religion. Modern scientists are increasingly engaging with this topic and using advanced research methods. One such area is neurobiology. Studies of the brain show that unusual processes occur during clinical death. For example, scientists from University of Michigan discovered that after cardiac arrest, brain activity in rats increases significantly, which could explain the vivid visions reported by people who have returned to life. However, Despite this discovery, it remains unclear whether these visions are merely a product of the dying brain or something greater. Einstein might have asked, what if consciousness is not just a product of the brain, but something that is separate from the physical body? The modern theory of consciousness, panpsychism, suggests that consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe, just like time or space. If this is true, our consciousness might not disappear after death, but merely change its form or transition into another state. A particularly interesting example that might have fascinated Einstein is the phenomenon of children who remember their previous lives. Dr. Ian Stevenson, who was mentioned earlier, documented thousands of such cases. His research showed that children sometimes described details from the lives of long-deceased people, details that were not known from other sources. He also found that these children often had unusual birthmarks or physical traits that matched injuries or circumstances of death from the previous life. Perhaps Einstein, with his pursuit of logic and everything, would have tried to explain this through quantum physical phenomena or laws of information conservation. But even if we set aside reincarnation, there are many other testimonies of the possible existence of an afterlife. For example, the phenomenon of electronic voices, electronic voice phenomenon, EVP, where sounds or voices are recorded on audio tapes that cannot be explained by natural causes. Some believe that these are the voices of the deceased trying to make contact with the world of the living. Perhaps such a phenomenon could be explained by wave physics or even quantum field theory, where energy does not disappear but is simply transformed. It is also worth mentioning that many patients in hospices report encounters with deceased relatives or visions of bright beings that bring them peace. Dr. Christopher Kerr, who studies these phenomena, notes that such visions occur so frequently that they cannot just be coincidental. Einstein would probably suggest studying such phenomena from a scientific perspective, perhaps attempting to find a physical explanation or recognizing patterns. But can science provide an answer to the question of what awaits us after death? Or will this topic remain beyond our understanding? Perhaps, as Einstein himself said, the more I study science, the more I believe in the wonder.
Maybe the mystery of the afterlife is exactly that wonder, which we have not yet been able to grasp. Have you ever experienced an inexplicable sense of presence or had dreams that seemed more real than life itself? Perhaps it was just a trick of the brain, or maybe it is a subtle hint that there is something greater beyond life. The topic of life after death often intersects with questions about the nature of time and space. Einstein demonstrated in his theory of relativity that time is not absolute. It can slow down or speed up depending on speed and gravity. This idea not only changed our understanding of the universe, but also opened new horizons for thoughts about the afterlife. If time is relative, then death might not be the end, but merely a transition into another state. In various cultures, there are concepts of eternity or afterlife time, where the soul continues its existence. Quantum physics also points to the possibility of multiple realities. The multiverse theory states that an infinite number of parallel universes exist where every possible life scenario is realized. In this case, death could be a transition from one universe to another. But how does this relate to consciousness? Some scientists suspect that consciousness could switch between these realities. In cases of out-of-body experiences, people describe how they observe their body from the outside, travel to distant places, or met deceased relatives. Perhaps consciousness in such moments actually transcends the boundaries of our familiar world. Interestingly, modern research is starting to confirm the possibility of such phenomena. In 2014, a group of scientists from the University of Southampton conducted a study with more than 2,000 patients who had survived cardiac arrest. Nearly 40% of the participants reported experiencing conscious awareness during clinical death. One of them described in detail how they observed the resuscitation process from outside, and their account matched what was actually happening in a room. If consciousness can exist outside the body, then it may not be as closely connected to the physical brain as we originally thought. Einstein would likely ask, if energy does not disappear but only changes from one form to another, what happens to the energy of our consciousness after death? Perhaps it does not vanish, but transitions to another dimension or becomes part of the overall information field of the universe. Another interesting phenomenon is synchronicity, an idea proposed by Carl Gustav Jung. Synchronicity describes events that appear to be random, but have a deeper meaning. For example, thinking of someone and then suddenly receiving a call from them. Jung believed that such events might point to the existence of a shared collective unconscious where all souls are interconnected. Einstein was interested in Jung's work and discussed with him the possibility that such phenomena could have a scientific explanation. Could synchronicity be a bridge between worlds? Perhaps, when we feel signs of fate or incidents, our soul is interacting with another dimension. If the soul indeed persists after death, such signals could be an attempt to communicate with the living. What do you think? Is it possible that our deceased loved ones are still near us and provide us with signs through strange coincidences or unexplained phenomena? Perhaps it is precisely in this way that they remind us that death is not a farewell, but merely a new form of existence. There are many stories about how people have sensed the presence of deceased relatives or received messages from them through dreams or signs. Sometimes, such cases are difficult to explain rationally. For example, when someone has a dream about a close person who conveys important information, and that information is later confirmed in the waking state. Some consider this a coincidence, while others see it as a manifestation of the afterlife. Einstein would likely view such stories skeptically, but perhaps he would ask a different question. What if consciousness can truly interact with reality in ways we don't yet understand? Considering his views on the relativity of time, one might speculate that consciousness could travel not only through space but also through time. Perhaps dreams are not just a play of the subconscious, but a window into another dimension where past, present, and future exist simultaneously. Another interesting phenomenon is ghosts or poltergeists. Many cultures have stories of spirits lingering on earth after death. Skeptics claim that this is simply a trick of the mind 
were the result of electromagnetic fluctuations that affect perception. However, there are cases where such phenomena have been recorded by devices. Sudden temperature changes, unclear noises on audio recordings, strange images on photographs. Is it possible that this is indeed a manifestation of another reality? Modern science is starting to take such questions more seriously. For example, research in quantum physics shows that particles can disappear from one point and appear at another without traveling through the space in between. This phenomenon, known as quantum tunneling, could suggest that consciousness might also be able to travel between worlds. Perhaps ghosts are nothing more than traces of such movements. It is also important to mention the phenomenon of ego death, which people often experience during meditation practices or under the influence of psychedelics. They describe a feeling of complete unity with the universe, the loss of their own self, and the awareness that life and death are simply parts of a unified cycle. Such experiences often change the person's perception and strengthen the belief that death is just a transition to a new state. Einstein might see this as confirmation of his idea that the universe is a single whole. If everything is interconnected on an energetic level, death might not be the end but a return to this source. In his work, the idea that time and space are merely illusions created by our perception was often present. What if something greater is hidden behind this illusion? In the end, humanity will always strive to find answers to questions about life after death. Perhaps the truth lies in science, but perhaps also in a realm that science has yet to explore. As Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination encircles the world. Perhaps it is exactly imagination and intuition that will guide us to an understanding of the afterlife. And what do you think? Is it possible that death is not the end, but only a new chapter in our eternal story? Perhaps the most important thing is not to fear the unknown, but to seek answers with an open heart and mind?